Hello fellow vapers, Crash with CrashVapes.com. Today I'm just going to do a quick video for people that have the Bare Brass Mod Titanium and did not get the switch fix with the device when they purchased it but have to install it themselves. I, um, I was on Bare Brass's Facebook and saw that he was releasing the switch update and watched his video and he has Delrin punches and Delrin blocks and stuff like that and I know most of you aren't going to have that in your toolbox or even in your house or maybe even nearby. So I went through my kitchen and found stuff that I thought I could do this with. <laughs> I haven't tried to do it yet, so I'm going to do it right here with you guys. The, um, the things I got are a wooden stirring device, nice flat bottom on it. I just kind of went into um, my kitchen and I... Oops. I took the little brass piece that was in there and I kind of started sticking things up against it and this one fits it pretty good. It's uh, it's not the full size but hopefully it'll work and then um, with the Delrin it it wants to go inside it which I think will be okay because it's pressed in but we'll see how that goes as well. So Bare Brass Mod Titanium, this one here and the switch is this one here. BBM with bad focus, no focus, unfocused. So um, we'll go down and we'll talk about it. All right, so here you have the switch. Here's the parts that come in the kit, and here's the switch itself. And what I did is um, this is a little bamboo cutting board that I had. It's a small size one, it's for cheeses or whatever, and I figured it would be a good size. So first things first, you, you want to take your switch apart, um, just unscrew like so, and then you have your three pieces to your switch. So there's the spring, which is part of the original. Um, yeah, you can even tell, well I don't know if you can tell or not, but my spring is actually like, it's a little crooked and warped probably from the resistance and the heat that it's had maybe even a little collapse. So we're going to take that and we're going to set it aside. Don't need it. The next thing we're going to do is get this Delrin piece out of here. So it's pressed in. As you can see, it's a, it seems to be just a straight Delrin piece with a little lip on the inside. And um, I'm just going to take my spoon here and see. Oh yeah. Okay. I pushed it down and it's now flush, but the spoon is a little too big for the, uh, for the inside of the hole there. So I'm just going to use my screwdriver see if I can press it through without damaging anything. Yep, came right out. So there's your Delrin piece that uh, you're removing from the device. That's the bottom. Bottom's the part with the ridge. Top. So we take that, we set that aside. Now the next thing he showed in his video was he takes the switch that's now bare and he takes this little brass guy and it goes into the switch from the bottom with the ridge facing down. So you set it in this little area and you can see it, it's going to be pressed into that little spot right there. So that's where the, uh, the ridge was inside there. Now, I just pressed down on that and it went in. I felt it and heard it kind of go in. Just press again a little bit and see. Now, I don't know if it's seated all the way, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the uh, top side of this spoon fork stirring device. And I'm doing this with a, um, with a meat tenderizer. And yes, I did see that it moved down more. I don't know if you can tell. Sorry about the noise, should have warned you. And it looks almost like it's flush on the inside there as well. I'm going to beat it one more time just for good measure. And that looks like it is down in there. And if you look from the top, it's totally flush. So I would say that is installed. From there, you take the new piece of Delrin. And it goes in with the shoulder down. You can see there's a shoulder in there, so that goes on the downside. Take that. It just pressed right in, no hammering necessary. And then 
the magnets. So there's two magnets. You take them, you unstick them, flip one upside down. They're going to try to fight you, but you take your uh, your pin, your post, slide them over that, and it's you know it's going to try to push itself off. So here you would hold it down with one finger, take your switch, shove it in the bottom, check to make sure the actuation is actuating. Feels like it to me. A little rough right now, but let's see what happens when we get it all snugged up. So then you take your um, your screw that you did remove. Screw that guy back in. Snug it down. And there's the switch. All back together in one piece. So, let's see if we can get it to focus back in. Auto focus. You take your device, take your battery, one here in my pocket. I wasn't using this thing because the last time I used it, it burned me. So take your battery, um, positive side up, take our switch, reinstall. Looks like I have to adjust my top pin a little bit. Screw that guy back in. This is the changeling. For those of you that don't know that just bought the, uh, the main device, this is the bare brass titanium changeling. We got fire. And it works. So, yeah, no temperature at all from that. The switch, it's a little grindy, but I think it'll smooth out. That brass in there is soft, as you guys know. So over a little bit of time, it'll start, start getting a little smoother. But, it's not too bad. I can already tell that this performs way better than it did with the old one. I personally, with the old spring, wasn't really getting hot. And what I, this is what I was using. It's my beating device. I'm sure most of you guys would have a hammer. I have one in the garage. I just grabbed that because it was in the same drawer. Um, but anyhow, so the, the spring on mine before I changed it, it wasn't really getting all that hot with the changeling on there, which is about a 0 0.8, 0 0.9 ohm um, flat wire, 0.8 ribbon. And um, it wasn't getting that hot, the switch wasn't, but it wasn't really performing that well. So I think, well, I know now just from trying it after putting that in, and that was a, a large part of the problem, because now it's kind of hitting like a champ. much much better so anyhow there you go there you have it I'm only gonna post this on uh, YouTube I'm not gonna put it on my website um, just for you guys that have purchased the bare brass that need to do this update and um, thanks for coming by thanks for hanging out any comments questions concerns or otherwise post below or over at my blog if you'd like or you email me crash crash that's it bye